What do you call these features? Crop circles. There's even a whole movie about them called Signs, Mel Gibson. And um, I think it was in the 60s and 70s, maybe the 70s, that became really popular. We're being visited by uh, extraterrestrials and their spacecraft are landing out in fields so they can't be seen. And they create these strange designs. If you notice in this image, there's an article from a newspaper from like the 1700s, and it's showing what they call a mowing devil. And so these features have been around for a long time. They're not just a recent phenomenon. And so people who are believers like to say, see, there were UFOs landing in the 1700s too, and making these mowing devils or crop circles. Uh, and it could be, I guess, if there are UFOs, they could land in fields so nobody would see them. Um, but it could be a tornado or a dust devil or something that's causing these features. Or it could just be people were faking it then like they're faking it today. They're uh, falsifying them. And so you see these types of images. This looks like a Navajo design. It was made by some hoaxer that had Native Indian art class or something. <laughs> That's right. That may be it. Or either smoke some peyote, then made it. <laughs> they said, uh, you know, in these stories, they always say it's just out in the middle of the field and there's no tracks to it. But, you know, I can see all kinds of tracks in the photographs here. But I'm not sure how convincing that is. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty intense track there. <laughs> Connects these two. <laughs> This is a very specific design. It's called a Mandelbrot set. Um, people began to work with chaos theory and developing different algorithms that would play out and form different shapes, reproducing shapes called uh, fractals, where they appear at different levels, the same patterns. Well, they developed one of the most complex of these algorithms called the Mandelbrot set. This is it, because this is a Mandelbrot set. Yeah, it does look like a ladybug. You guys heard of chaos theory? Chaos theory is the idea that there's really nothing that's random, that everything has structures, which is really bizarre because they call it chaos theory, but you actually study chaos theory. It's that they don't believe there's anything chaotic. There's always some kind of underlying structure. Well, as they began to study these underlying structures to what we would call random events, they find that uh, they follow certain algorithms, certain mathematical formulas that can be mapped out into distinct shapes. And what's interesting about these algorithms, many of them actually are hierarchical in that they produce larger and larger versions of themselves. Like if you look carefully, you can see the, what looks like a ladybug here, but there's smaller ladybugs on the back of that ladybug. And so we talked about this in class. Remember the hierarchical structure of nature where you have you have clusters of stars, and you have star cluster clusters, and you have star cluster cluster clusters. And we talked about scriptures like that. When you look at the, the books of Moses, it's a, co a covenant within a covenant within a covenant within a covenant. It has that structure throughout. So what would that say if you see the same structure in scripture as you see in nature? What would be the implication? That they were both created by the same person, right? It's their fingerprint. And so you can see that in the Mandelbrot set also, that when you look at these deeper structures of what we would call chaotic or random sequences, there's actually deeper structures, and they are hierarchical too. They create the same images over and over again. That's, and this is the most complex called the Mandelbrot set. And cha chaoticians, people who study chaos theory, know about it. And obviously, whoever did this hoax probably had a graduate degree in chaos theory or something. Uh, after this made the news, there were some graduate students that did um, confess to building this. So either they're lying, it really was a UFO, or maybe Martians have done a mind meld on them to get them to say that. Other than that, it's probably, probably a hoax. Yeah, they may have been smoking peyote too. Graduate students smoking peyote. Yeah, if you study chaos theory, they can actually generate these Mandelbrot sets. You see, there's a larger image, and if you look at the smaller one, it's a repetition of the larger image. If you look at that one, that's a repetition of this, which is a repetition of that. See the same thing in crystals. You see the shape of a crystal on the outside, and there's a series of smaller shapes all the way down to the atomic level, they think. You know, there's a passage in the uh, Proverbs where it says, the lot is cast into the lap, but its very decision is with the Lord. 
Isn't that interesting? The lot is cast into the lap. That's about as random as you can get, right? Throwing the dice. The lot is cast into the lap, but its very decision is with the Lord. The implication seems to be that there's, not, there's nothing random, that God is a sovereign God in everything. And that's what chaos theory is actually saying, the same thing. There are deeper structures under chaotic events. So when you found this out in a cornfield, um, the first impression was it's a bunch of graduate students in mathematics that went out one weekend and made this, which it turns out it was the case because they confessed. It was a bunch of graduate students in mathematics that went out with some rope and some boards and actually made this. Uh, but before they, they um, admitted that they did it, people were saying, no, it's the UFOs are trying to communicate to us because they also know chaos theory and about fractals, and this is the way they're communicating. They do um, have the Mandelbrot set. You see it here? It's been designed in computer programs. Here's another. And the thing is, you, what you see in the macrocosm, you can see in the microcosm. See how that shape looks like this as a whole? And then when you look at each little tiny one, it's, there it is again. We've seen it in nature, it's, I call it the hierarchical structure. Remember we talked about star clusters, and there were clusters of star clusters, and there were clusters of star cluster clusters. We are seeing this type of fractal uh, structure to the universe. So naturally you're going to see it uh, in mathematics. So the believers eventually said, well, most of them are man-made, but there are still a few. You have to have a special eye to see the ones that really are made by uh, extraterrestrials.